Greetings, fellow investors and enthusiasts. Welcome back to Ajay Stromani Guru, your ultimate source for the latest updates and advance analysis on various commodities. Today, on the 26th of February 2024, we dive into the dynamic world of coal, exploring prices, demand supply dynamics, and exciting industry news. Let's dive right in. First up, let's dissect the current price landscape. At Gangavaram port, grade 3100 gar is holding steady at 3600 rupees per ton, while grade 3400 MIFA gar commands 4800 rupees per ton, and grade 4200 gar comes in at 6250 rupees per ton. Meanwhile, over at Mundra port, grade 5000 gar is priced at 9000 rupees per ton, grade 4200 gar at 6200 rupees per ton. Grade 4000 gar at 5900 rupees per ton and grade 3000 gar at 3800 rupees per ton Notably Australian coal at Krishnapatnam port grade 4700 gar saw a slight dip to 7300 rupees per ton and at Gangavaram port grade 4700 gar stands at 7000 rupees per ton with grade 6000 gar soaring to 14750 rupees per ton Lastly, South African coal at Krishnapatnam port for RSARB2 stands at 9,200 rupees per ton, while at Gangavaram port, it's priced at 8,900 rupees per ton. Now, let's pivot to the intricate dance between demand and supply. In January, Thailand experienced a notable downturn in thermal coal imports, marking a 48.2% yoy decrease and a 30.66% mom decline. Bituminous coal imports took a significant hit, dropping by 64.4% yoy, while sub-bituminous coal imports also saw a slump of 38.7% yoy. However, amidst this, anthracite imports witnessed an UPTICK. These shifts reflect Thailand's evolving energy landscape, with coal consumption in 2023 decreasing by 13.31% yoy, primarily driven by reduced imports. Meanwhile, Power plants continue to dominate consumption, accounting for 63.5% of the total. In other news, let's turn our attention to China, where President Xi Jinping emphasizes the importance of stimulating consumption for high-quality growth. China's retail sales of consumer goods grew by 7.2% in 2023, indicating a rising consumer appetite. The government is doubling down on policy measures to promote advanced production capacity and enhance resource recycling, targeting a 15% growth in recycling disused household appliances and furniture by 2025. Meanwhile, closer to home, Singarini Collieries Company Limited SCCL, in India is blazing a trail in renewable energy. With the commissioning of a 10.5 MW solar plant in Telangana, SCCL underscores its commitment to sustainability adding to its existing portfolio of solar PV power plants, totaling 234.5 MW. And there you have it, folks. A comprehensive roundup of the latest in the world of commodities. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful updates. Until next time, happy investing!